Welcome to the Open3D Engine YouTube channel. I'm Alex Demarjan, a technical trainer with the AWS Game Tech team. If you were wondering if there was an alternate method to building a project other than in the command line, then you came to the right place. In this video, we'll be using the Open3D Engine Project Manager to configure engine settings, create a new project, add gems, and build our project. Now, one last point before we begin, and this is in consideration of the open source nature of O3DE. The O3DE community is constantly making important updates to the engine, so make sure to check the description below for any updated content or videos. Thanks for watching and enjoy the video. Before continuing with this tutorial, ensure that you have the following prerequisites covered. O3DE installed or built as an SDK on your computer, and that all hardware and software requirements have been met. Now, if you're not familiar with either of these prerequisites, check the description below for links to videos that cover these topics. This tutorial uses the following project name and directories. In a previous video, we took a look at two methods for building our engine. If you built the engine using the install target, make sure you launch the project manager and other tools from the install directory. Otherwise, the project manager files should be located within the profile folder where you built your project. Once there, locate and launch the O3DE project manager application by double-clicking the O3DE.exe icon. If this is the first time you've used Project Manager to create a project, then check and configure the O3DE engine settings before you create and build the project. We can do this by choosing the Engine tab near the top of the Project Manager. On the Engine tab, we can review the default project file locations and update as desired. O3DE uses your user directory in all the locations by default. If you set up and build O3DE from GitHub, you can set the third-party software folder to the same packages directory you created when you built the engine. For example, the O3DE packages folder to avoid downloading the same packages again when we go to build the project later. Now that we've configured the engine, let's return to the projects tab. There are essentially two ways to create a project. In project manager, you can click on create a project, or if you've already registered one or more projects, open the new project dropdown menu instead and choose create a new project. Give your project a name, such as my project. If you want to change the project location, choose the folder icon in the project location field and use the browse dialog box to select a new location, creating the new project folder if needed. The folder you select will become the project's root directory. Currently, you can select between the minimal and standard template. The minimal template can be a great starting point for those looking for a bare bones project to start with. You can also add additional functionality to these templates by adding gems. For those unfamiliar with gems, they are packages that contain code and assets to augment your game projects. You can find more information about gems on the O3DE documentation site. For now, just click on the Configure with Gems button to open the gems catalog. Here you can scroll through and select the gems you're looking for, or search for a specific gem within the search bar at the top of the gem catalog. In this tutorial, we're going to go with the standard template and add all three of the Python gems. Once selected, let's go ahead and click on the Create Project button. Then you'll receive another pop-up asking if you should rebuild the project. Go ahead and click OK. Back in our project section, you'll see a new project tab. This indicates that our project has been added and registered. You're now ready to build the project from the project manager. Choose the build project button for your new project. A prompt will appear asking if you want to build your project. Go ahead and click yes. A project bar will appear indicating the current project completion percentage. I'm going to pause the video and when we return, our project will have completed building. When the build is complete, we can open our project in the O3DE editor by clicking or tapping anywhere inside the new project box. Similar to the process we did in other videos where we opened our editor from our command prompt, you can see that O3DE begins by processing our assets, and once the assets have been processed at an acceptable level, our editor will open. In this video, we discussed how to create projects using the Open3D Engine Project Manager. Stay tuned for future videos where we'll be discussing more O3D related content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.